Hey guys, what is going on? We are back. It has been a little while since we did make a video on the channel. We have just been super busy with work. Like there was a whole second weapon in the battle pass, the RA-225, which we're about to talk here today, which we haven't spoken about yet. We've just been super, super busy. With this weapon, it is a very, very cool addition to the game. It does feel fairly similar to some of the other SMGs that we have seen previously, but with the right class setup and the vital perk included, you actually can get 140 millisecond time to kill with this thing, which is actually very, very powerful. I haven't unlocked the vital perk just yet, but I know that once we do this thing is going to be an absolute monster with those headshot damage included into the upper torso shots. Just before we do get into it here though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out. Of course, we are very much looking forward to all of the Modern Warfare 2 content coming very, very soon. There is the big reveal kind of multiplayer stuff on the 15th. And then of course, in the October month of the 28th, I believe it is, is the game launch, which is very, very exciting here. So as I said, with the vital perk unlocked, which is one of the last unlocks with this game, as I said, I haven't unlocked that just yet. So we are in the custom lobby and we're going to show you off the best build with this thing just because the stats with this thing are really, really powerful. But we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. And then we'll like probably show off the vital perk once we do unlock it eventually. Starting us off here in the muzzle, of course, you can take your silencer of your choice, whether that be the Mercury silencer or the M1929. Basically, the choice is essentially between aim down sight speed and a damage range reduction. So typically, we do want to increase that accuracy and sort of take the aim down sight speed reduction on an SMG. Whereas Whereas with an assault rifle, you'd probably just go with the damage range reduction from the Mercury Silencer because we already get that little boost there. In the barrel, we do go with the Moravec 18 inch needle barrel for bullet velocity and damage range, as well as an increase to our accuracy. This makes us very, very accurate, of course, as you can tell. There is a little bit of a case to be made for the Urban Rapid Barrel, which does increase our fire rate by 22%, is a massive boost to our TTK, but does make it quite hard to control the weapon, so use this sparingly. In the optic, you can pick and choose whatever you prefer. Of course, we love the slate reflector here. For stock, we do have the Urban Tack, we do have this one for the aim walking movement movement speed and the initial accuracy and recoil. This is a massive boost you get around the map very quickly when you are aimed down sight. Under barrel, you can typically pick and choose whatever you prefer in this slot as well. You can take like a car for fog for recoil control and hip fire accuracy up close. I like the M1941 hand stop just for that recoil control and accuracy though. In the magazine, you typically will just want to run with the 9mm 48 round drum. This does basically just give you more bullets to fire. If we do take a look at the stats here, we do get 24 damage per bullet at 845 RPM. If we do include the vital damage on that, which is going to be the vital perk included on that, meaning you do only have to get those shots on the upper torso. You hit two upper torso shots and a body shot follow-up and you get a three shot kill, which is about 140 millisecond TTK. In the ammo type, we do have length in here for the bullet velocity increase of 30%. In the rear group, we do go with the first one, which is the stipple group. Again, initial accuracy and recall is very powerful and we don't really need too much aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed boosts here from any other group. Then of course, we did talk about the vital proficiency, which does give us that upper torso damage counted as a headshot, which is very, very strong for this weapon. And then in the kit, we do have fully loaded here for the most amount of starting ammo, but you can take quick as well if you do want more sprint speed. Alrighty, here we are on Berlin here, TDM. We should just be able to get into our spots as we are sort of just spawning in here as a fresh lobby, which does not happen very often on the Oceanic servers. Usually you'll find something that's a halfway through or an Asian server and then it's just like a TTK nightmare because it's just glitchy and everyone's lagging around everywhere and I'm just not having a good time. But... When you do find your servers, man, I mean, it does feel really good. I actually don't mind this game too much, especially when you are finding the right servers and you find your positions in these maps, man. I mean, it's pretty easy to... Ooh. Get the machete out! Oh. Whew. Okay, the reason we are running around with the katana is because there is a, a challenge to unlock. I believe there's another melee weapon you can unlock with it. So, yeah, you get you get melee kills and we're running around with the katana because, I mean, it's, it's satisfying. And it feels really cool to just go and then just slice somebody's head off. It is very satisfying, and that is why we are running the Katana in this class. I have no other reason other than that. There's no real reason for it. It's just satisfying. Normally, we would run a pistol and something like that, but I mean, hearing that sound, like hearing the, the unsheathed sound when we do pull it out, is that's probably worth the price of admission alone. So that's worth, uh, to me, that's worth not having a pistol. Am I going to die? Okay, no. We're good. All right, we're going to take our spot back because, I mean... It's a little unfortunate that we did lose our spot there. We're going to bait our teammate, make sure he doesn't die. Alright. Interesting position to find ourselves in just there. We just got to wait for people to come to us, really. They're not being too aggressive right now. Enemy just there. You can see that the TTK is still pretty reliable. You get that four or five shot kill with with the current setup that we do have. Again, keep in mind that we don't actually have the vital perk unlocked. It is still sort of... Like, one of the last unlocks that you can get with this thing, I believe. It's like the rank 70 unlock, which I mean... I simply haven't had that much time to play the game recently, so... 
That's okay. That's okay. We can still get a lot of work done with this thing. Evil. Okay. Uh, that. That was. Rather, what is happening? <laughs> we are in a very strange situation in this game right now. Just not being able to climb on anything. Another situation where we could have pulled out the katana. Listen to that. Oh, that sound is perfect, dude. Just sort of waiting for a little bit more intel before we sort of like peek out wide and sort of expose our position. Alright, we're good. I'm just going to rotate back down the stairs because I know there's a guy coming in very soon. Okay, a little, little bit rough there. We haven't played Call of Duty in a couple of days, so we're a little bit rusty. But I mean, we're doing. I think we're doing quite well considering. <laughs> Except for that grenade throw. That was pretty bad. The grenade throw is a little bit rough there, so we'll work on that. We'll work on that for next time. Ooh, duck back inside. The armor saved us there, which is good. I do enjoy when the armor does save us. I can't imagine anybody's going to push... Actually, no, this he's going to push us. Behind. There he is. Get the sword out. Let's go. <laughs> I think killing people with a katana in any game is always going to be satisfying. Like... I don't know where... Oh, that's him! Oh, he was inside. I think he ran on there on the left other side of the truck, man. That was... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that was always going to be a rough spawn. Oh. Oof, when he just picked up that guy. Yeah, running into a straight corridor where the enemies are spawning, just like looking at you already before you've even taken a step is... Uh, I'm going to go with rough. Rough is how I would describe that. Tough again. Tough little position to find ourselves. And he came around the corner just as we dropped down. We were sort of locked into our animations, which is usually how you get killed in this game. You sort of lock yourself into a moving into a particular direction and an enemy's there. And it's just, just a bit tough. Can be a bit tricky to react to that sometimes. Just because, I mean... Can you... Excuse me, sir. I didn't kill that guy. I'm upset about that now. I have to go find him. We'll rotate back all the way across the stairs here. He's just, he was just chilling on the balcony, like... Oh, there's an enemy just there, dude. Where are you going? There's, there's an enemy coming in here. Is he there? No. We walked into a very obvious trap line of fire there. That was pretty dumb on my behalf. But again, that's the kind of thing you walk into when you haven't played Call of Duty for a little bit, so... That's the kind of thing that happens. He's just on the right. He's just in here. He's not... I was baited. He's up the stairs. <laughs> I got baited there. That's alright. I just love how they always seem to drop cruise missiles on me. Like, all, all the time. Just, like, forever. Like, uh, all I do is get taken out by cruise missiles in this game. I get myself killed and I get cruise missiles landing on my head, which, I mean... That's the life you choose, brother. This is the life we live and this is the one we have. Trying to get a little bit more intel from the minimap just before we decide what to do here. You know what? We always sit in this building on this map. Let's be aggressive. Let's go for it. See if we can make something happen here. Is there anybody on this map right now? Like anybody at all? Yes. Yes is the answer. <laughs> no! Granted, we probably could have cut a couple of the kills with the gun there, but we decided that the sword was the way to go, just because, I mean, we were in a situation where we were basically in their spawn building with, like, four people, five people around us, so I feel like we made a, a, a not terrible choice there. Again, they are spawning literally just there, so... Oh, God. Yeah, that was a tough position. We got we got one of the guys, but there was a second guy there. And once he saw we were there, like we ducked, ducked back into the corner, we were always going to be a little bit screwed there. Like there wasn't super lots we could do about that. Unfortunately, we just got to try and get back into our positions and make our get our game plan going again. And when you do work in these areas, man, if you find yourself in these particular positions, you really can just make it work. This is a particular. This is a map where you can just go on those long streaks. Mostly just because of the positions you can find yourself in. Just like stuff like this. These very, very powerful high ground positions, man. Super, super strong. You can sit up here for the entirety of the game. I mean, people will eventually start chasing after you and they will eventually come for you, but... 
Uh, they gotta they gotta play pretty risky there, and if your team controls the middle of the map like we are right now, it's just this is a beautiful spot to sit. Oof. Man with the my man with the Panzer Faust knew it. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, you can sit up there for as long as you want, but somebody with a Panzer Faust and a grudge will just say, "Yo, you don't get to play the game anymore, brother. You're, you're done." Oh, I am leaving. That's tough. I gotta put the katana away, brother. It sounds amazing, but it's not a very effective gun. Like honestly, it's a pretty bad gun. I know they're up on that staircase there, and there is actually a little... Can I get Lily in that there? There is actually a little mine thing on that staircase, so I am unable to go up that way anymore. Which I don't mind. I, I very much like to go up there, but... Maybe we'll wait a, a second till the game's over and then just throw this life away. Yeah, the game's about to be over, so... I can just sort of slowly creep up the stairs. I'll take the double. Not bad. Oh god, yeah, I knew it was there. <laughs> I knew it was there, dude. We can do it, I gotta get this kill on this idiot. Sit down, dude, what are you... Yeah, sit like that in spots and just wait for people to come to you. You best not miss them when they jump at the stairs like that. Like, you gotta hit those shots if you're trying to camp in that place. Because, <laughs> I mean, if you don't, you're just wasting your own time. Yeah, we got a tag on that guy, and there's a guy in that window there. Oh my goodness, how do we not kill this guy? Okay, we got there in the end. 39 and 11, obviously not my best game, but you can see that there is power in this thing, and once we do unlock the vital perk, this thing is going to be unstoppable. So as you saw there, guys, this particular weapon, the RA-225, is very, very strong in this game, especially once you do unlock that vital perk. It does absolutely shred people. Without it, you do actually have to hit two headshots and a body shot follow-up to get that super, super strong TTK. If you did enjoy this one and it did help you out at all, though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it, and it really does help me out. We're going to be moving to and discussing all of the Modern Warfare 2 content that we do see in the upcoming weeks, as well as when the game does launch, so make sure you don't miss out on any of that, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!